In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gates of everlasting life, grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help, we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Cilicia, Paul went to Derby, and then on to Lystra. Here, there was a disciple called Timothy, whose mother was a Jewess who, became, who had become a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers at Lystra and Iconium spoke well of Timothy, and Paul, who wanted to have him as a travelling companion, had him circumcised. This was on account of the Jews in the locality where everyone knew his father was a Greek. As they visited one town after another, they passed on the decisions reached by the apostles and elders in Jerusalem with the instructions to respect them. So the churches grew strong in the faith as well as growing daily in numbers. They travelled through Phrygia and uh, the, the Galatian country, having been told by the Holy Spirit not to preach the word in Asia. When they reached the frontier of Mysia, they thought to cross it into Bithynia. But as the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them, they went through Mysia and came down to Troas. One night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian appeared and appealed to him in these words. Come across to Macedonia and help us. Once he had seen this vision, we lost no time in arranging a passage to Macedonia, convinced that God had called us to bring them the good news. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And response to the psalm, cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. 
Know that he, the Lord, is good, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal, his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord who hung for us upon the tree has risen from the tomb. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and also with you. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, remember that it hated me before you. If you belonged to the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the words I said to you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will do all this because they do not know the one who sent me. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, my, um, you know, the brothers and sisters um, who are actually watching, um, you know, this, um, this service live stream, or um, also um, to those um, who may watch this video um, through the YouTube channels. Um, as I promised, as I mentioned before um, several times, um, I decided to use, um, you know, one of the, um, the altars in the church, um, this altar, the altar of repose, which we haven't been, um, you know, used. Um, a bit, uh, we haven't been using this altar, um, you know, um, actively. Um, the Greek um, communities, um, you know, used to use this altar, um, and because it was sit in the corner of north side of the church, um, and still um, the Serbian Orthodox, um, you know, Christians, when um, they come, whenever they come, they use um, this table as as their own altar but this is actually um you know our altar used to be in our late chapel um, and now in our late chapel we have rather um strong and um, solid um you know um the stone altar there and uh, since then um the people long before my time i should say they moved this altar to the side for the different purpose but um um the recently I wanted to um, create or to dedicate a space where we can offer our prayers for the faithful departed and all those who um, pray for them. And hence, I am actually preparing um, you know, a couple of you know, materials so that we can use this altar as the altar of repose properly. Uh, in near future, when you come back um, to the church, and you will be able to find some um, the prayer request, um, you know, the card around here, this altar. And then if you want, you will be able to find um, some forms there so that you can actually um, ask, um, you know, the one of the sacristans or the servers to light the candle on Sunday with your special name tag. And then these um, votive lamps, the tiny votive lamps um, will be be um, the left here on the altar and then burning in uh, memory of those whom we loved. I believe 
that is also the important part of our church's mission. Mission sometimes means we go out and then talk to the people. And the mission sometimes always linked with um, the growing numbers or the looking after the church's structure well. Bringing the good news to those who have never heard, those who don't have any hope for the eternal life. Of course, that is our prime mission. But at the same time, the mission to those who are already member of it, those who already even gone before us, offering our prayers in remembrance of them, I think that is also important part of our mission. So, Saturday, I offer, especially for the first time, offer this Mass for those who have gone before us, are those, all those who are faithful departed. Of course, um, we will um, remember um, those who celebrate um, their anniversary of death today as well. But we offer this Mass for all those who have gone before us. And especially those who have died um, during this difficult time. Whether that is of COVID-19 or of just normal, um, you know, natural cause of death. So my brothers and sisters, let us remember that offering our prayers to the faithful departed is part of our mission. And we have to take it seriously. As Jesus' disciples, especially Paul and Barnabas' case, they treated God's words seriously. And then they even you know, followed the instructions which they have received while they were dreaming. The instruction that our Lord gave us is to love one another. I don't think that love only means love among those who are still alive. We extend our love to those who have gone. So my brothers and sisters, let us pray for the church now. Offer, let us offer our intercessions for the church, for the world, and for ourselves. And in particular, when we pray for the faithful departed, I want you to offer your own prayers for all those who are dear and near to you. May God bless us, and especially all those who have fallen asleep, and may, they, uh, may God grant them and us the eternal life. Amen. Now let us pray for the church throughout the whole world. We pray for the Christian leaders. Especially we pray for Pope Francis, Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Bartholomew, the Ecumenical Patriarch, we pray for our bishops as they lead us. In particular, we pray for Sarah, the Bishop of London, and Rob Wickham, our area, um, area bishop. Our Archdeacon, Father John Hawkins. And also we pray for the newly appointed um, the area dean in, in Enfield. We pray for Father Stephen Gallagher, the vicar at um, the St. Peter and Paul's, as he is taking the huge responsibility. Pray for all the priests and deacons in the Church of God. They may serve the Word of God faithfully. And still pray that the Spirit of the Lord may bring more vocation to our hearts. More people may come forward to serve the Lord in whatever circumstances they are in. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continually pray for the world where we live. We pray for peace. Pray for those who are suffering from war and terror. All the innocent victims of 
wrong human desire. Especially we pray for those who are fighting against this COVID-19 and all those who are affected. We may find peace in this world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we also pray for this parish. We pray for each and every one of us, especially all those who tuned in to this service. We may experience the enlightenment the feeling touch of Jesus, the comfort of the Spirit. We may also grow in spirit and in numbers. May this difficult time make us strong and make us one. We lift up to you all the difficulties and the important matters that we face to you. May the Lord give us strength and wisdom so may we overcome all the troubles and hardships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we also pray for those who are unwell in body, mind and spirit. We have been asked to pray for Pauline Stavers, Diana Jones, Doreen Flint, Barbara Baker, Ron Painter, Luke Sheehan, Claudia Boner, Violet Cochran, Susie Antino, Emma Evans, Sue Lee, Father Alan Cross, Heather Anderson, Patricia Ray, Miranda Kearney, Patricia Maloney, Kathleen Hawkins, Modi Fox, Dory Lynch, Michael Shine, Davison Shkanchi, and Jeanette Shkanchi, Tony Betts, Ian Sergison, Maureen Rosario. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now, we pray for the faithful departed. Charles Lemkins, Beatrice Boateng, Jeff Housen, Cheryl Williams, John Mason, Danny Willoughby, Reverend Linda Riversage, Deacon David Stewart, Dorothy Blacktop, Jean Deakin, and Janet Young, recently departed. And also, we pray for those whose anniversary of death occurs around this time. Charles Paul, Hilda Degley, Peter Stokes. Their anniversary of death was yesterday. And then today we offer our prayers for the Constance Donald and Terence Wayland. Rest eternal. Grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us offer our own private prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. And we may say together, Merciful Father, accept these prayers 
for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. And they were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruits of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh, as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. But chiefly are we bound to praise you because you raised him gloriously from the dead. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was offered for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he has destroyed death. And by his rising to new life again, he has destroyed, restored to us the everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, 
these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples and saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you things. He gave it to them and saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, the Apostles, the Martyrs, Saint George and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord and by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit all honor and glory be yours almighty father forever and ever amen Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, 
I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Father, I pray for them, that they may be one in us, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. O eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth, and to share his risen life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, establish, strengthen, and settle you in the faith, and the blessing of God, the Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.